So today's tutorial of the day will be the cubital fossa. So this is the um, triangle in the um, in your arm. So if I put my arm here, so we look, we're thinking of this kind of area here as a triangle. Okay. Um, so to start with, I draw a triangle and a second triangle. So this is going to be lateral. And this is medial. And then this small triangle represents the biceps brachytendon. Here is the brachioradialis muscle. Here is the pronator teres muscle. And here is the biceps brachy muscle. So the first step after that, so step two, is we add in the arteries. So when you're trying to cannulate an artery in the arm, then what you can do is you can bend, bend your arm. Feel the tendon and then if you just feel put your finger medial straight in your arm and you'll feel your pulse that is your brachial artery so draw that straight down here represented by this line so that's your brachial artery that then divides into your radial artery and your ulnar artery the ulnar artery passes down the medial side of the forearm i just draw that as you'll see in a moment when we add the nerves that's useful so next step we add in the nerves. So on the lateral side of the tendon, you'll have the radial nerve. And this gives a branch to the posterior interosseous nerve. And this supplies some of the bones. And that's kind of important because if we're blocking the radial nerve at some point, then if we block it too um, low, we could miss the branch. And obviously everyone's slightly different and their branches will come off at slightly different levels. So next we add in the veins. So I do this as like a diagonal H shape across the cubital fossa. Now, the way I remember how to label them is I put my arm out with my thumb pointing upwards. And then this is the lower side, which is medial. So that's the base of the arm. So that's the basilic vein. And then this is the medial side, which is nearer your head. So that is your cephalic vein. And then this one's your medial cubit median cubital vein. 